Hello everyone, I'm BVG Hill and welcome back once again to Rise of the Tomb Raider. Feeling a little chilly listening to that wind. But we're back once again, making our way to the source itself, deep within the city of Katesh. Well, we're not really there yet, but if you remember last time we had a giant battle getting here. And now we're going into a very icy cave. Holy crap. Hopefully we'll get to Katesh today. I have a feeling though that this game's going to be ending soon. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Grapple axe. We're going to fall through that. Oh yeah. Hey, that was going to happen. Right onto a rock. Ouch. Ooh. Those guys have been here a while. But anyways, what I was saying is I have a feeling that this game is going to be done soon. So, I want to put this at the beginning of the video so more the most p possible people will see it. If you have any games you want me to play to replace this, one game or two or multiple games, please, please, please leave suggestions in the comments. Because I'm really not sure what I'm going to play. If I don't get any comments, I'm just going to play something random. I don't know if I should play a longer game like this again. Or maybe a few, sh a couple shorter games in the same time slots. I don't know, but any feed, any and all feedback is much, much appreciated. So Laura, keep that in mind. They're going to break through the ice any minute. Do you think you can stop them? The best we can do is buy you some time. I'll see you on the other side. All right. Chamber of Souls. The Divine Source has to be there. How do you know what it's called? Looks like the way into the city center is through that gate. Yeah, get off the screen. Get off the screen. Please? Ah. Just needed to move. That is gorgeous. Like, how did they manage to make this glacier fall so perfectly on the city? I mean, obviously a lot of it got destroyed, but... Like, it's still in pretty damn good shape for having a freaking glacier dropped on it. And I mean, look at this. There's siege towers and shit still here and still perfectly fine. It is all suspe suspect for sure. I'm sure she has something to say here, I don't, don't know what I expected an immortal being to be like. But Jacob seems so... human. The things he must have seen over the years. All that experience and knowledge. It's difficult to fathom. And yet, he lied to his own people for generations. All for the sake of this secret. What wonders will be unlocked with the Divine Source? Will humans finally understand the true nature of the soul? Or will it unlock some extraordinary new scientific discovery? One thing is certain. It's too important to allow Trinity to control. You could say that again. But don't. Don't actually say that again. Oh shit, there's a note right here and I almost completely missed it. Trinity's envoy among the Mongols survived the battle. It appears they underestimated the defenders of this place. Hmm. Well, they are immortal. Oh. Whoa. Why do I feel like these pyre things are something I should be lighting? Should I be? Foxer. The Deathless are patrolling the streets. Uh -oh. Got to stay out of sight. Did they see me? Oh boy, I hope not. Uh, where do I hook this up? Over here. Okay. Done. Ah, crap. Why 
I immediately failed. Don't worry about me. Don't worry. Don't you worry about me, deathless ones. I'm just a lady. No need to worry about me. Who are you and your battle axe, dude? Come here, son of a bitch. Can I light these on fire? Definitely feel like I should be able to do that. I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going right now. Signal bells. I should take these out. Signal bells? What are you talking about? I don't see any signal bells. Oh. Those signal bells. Signal bells. Signal bells. That wasn't loud or anything. There's another one over here. Okay. It's time for some signal bells, guys. Climb up. Really? Don't hear that at all. Any of them down here? Uh, there's a couple of them over there. There we go. Dead. I don't know where the other guy went. There he is. Stay low and quiet, Lara. Low and quiet. Gotcha. Okay, there's that. Ouch, just caught myself on fire. That was smart. Okay, now I can look at this thing. These characters look Mongolian. Man. But I can't read what it says. Mean. Hey. Don't know where this is taking me. Oh, I hear him. Get up, Laura. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Where are they? I hear them. Do you guys see them? Why am I asking if you see them? You can't talk to me. Oh, how I wish you could, though. But obviously I see them now, so... Doesn't much matter, but... Still would have been nice. Oh, oh, oh. I think that's the first time in my life I have caused an explosion that killed people and it was still counted as a stealth kill. It's, that's a crowning achievement in my gaming career, guys. Blowing something up stealthily. I didn't think it was possible. Oh, shit. Thought you were going to jump there, Lara, but you didn't. Is that the boar? Yes, it's the boar making those noises. Optional challenge tomb nearby. What? Oh, there's a crypt over there, too. Are you serious? Are you for cereal right now? I'm gonna go do that. Are you kidding me? An optional challenge tomb down here of all places. Okay, now why the hell is there a bear down here? That was a bear that I heard, was it not? Hello? 
Bear? Buddy? Oh yeah, that's a bear. That's a polar bear. I nailed him in the face with this. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Woo! That was a little sketch. Is this a special bear skin? Because it's... I don't know if it's actually a polar bear, but it's a white bear, so I assume that means it's a polar bear. Florida actually doesn't sound cold this time for once. That's odd. Sorry, I had to check my check that my camera wasn't being crap. Wasn't being a pile of shite. Hopefully I don't need any kind of special gear to get into this one. That would be highly inconvenient. Hello? I thought the orrery was the last tomb, but apparently not. Apparently this is the last one, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just needed to find nine to complete that quest, but A there's actually more than nine, bars. I don't know. Still in excellent condition. Not many of these survived, for obvious reasons. How'd you fit this in that little box? Well, I mean, the box isn't little, but... But still, that's pretty impressive. What's this tomb going to be? This looks like a giant cave system at the moment. In we go. Okay, we got an explorer satchel. It'll give us something. And there's stuff we're full up on, and there seems to be a relic over here that I saw from up above. Iron pendant. Soldiers in the Empire would sometimes tie them to their belts. Cool. Let's try to skirt around the edges here. Ooh, shiny. I spy a shiny. Alright, in we go. We have... We have the rebreather, so there shouldn't be anything else. I can't think of anything else that could possibly give us to help aid us in getting through Ruins these places. The water. Seems highly improbable. All right, all right. Enough of that BS. Wow, so cool. A lot of explosion-y sounds going on down here. I don't exactly appreciate it. My god. Oh, it's sulfur. Sulfur vents? Oh. We just uh, sprint through here before that fills up with sulfur again. Chamber of Exorcism. Interesting. Any, like, murals that I can look at over here? No? Oh. Spirit coming out of that lady's mouth. Excuse me. Jeez, oh, Pete. Jeez, Louise, man. Okay, so we got a note. There's some kind of no cage. how many people died here. Probably quite a My few. Mind is... An ill woman awaits exorcism, knowing it will not hear her. Heal her. So she dying. So what am I doing here? So we've got a crane. Some sort of... Whatever that is. A cage under the water, it looks like. That's our goal. 
So what do all these different switches and such do? What happens if I pull this? Assuming it drops, yeah, it drops that. No, no, no! Ah, oh, crap. I missed it. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm assuming I have to break this free, okay. Got it. What did that get me exactly? Am I supposed to do something with this? No? I'm just working with what I'm obviously seeing here. Okay, so the gate comes up. So it comes up right. through there. That should be high enough. High enough for what? This way then. Oh I get it! I get it! That looks about right. Let's see okay. if it works. So, do we have to use the... Maybe... Maybe lower it? Maybe lower it first. Because I'm thinking we could use the explosion... Maybe... To explode that and give it enough force to knock that down. That's what I'm thinking. Hopefully I'm right. No? Okay, maybe I was supposed to have it up higher. Oh, it just exploded it off the chain. Man, that was off the chain, yo. Don't mind me. Don't mind me and my horrible jokes. Oh, boy. Okay, what do you got for me? Hello, my lovely. A codex. Oh my god, this... What? What be it? This is the formula for Greek fire. Oh. Flames from fire arrows and Molotov cocktails do more damage and are hot enough to burn through enemy armor. Sweet. So now I'm putting Greek fire on on my freaking arrows. That's pretty sweet. Is it gonna be awesome and oh yes. Oh that is freaking cool, dude. Can I like blow up the whole place? Probably wouldn't be in my best interest to do so anyways, but that's another optional tomb down. I did notice there was a crypt on the other side of this as well. Might go there, because that might get us... Uh, I think that's it. All we need for the... to finish the ancient bow as well. Is that one more crypt? But who knows? Maybe the ancient bow will be better than the compound one. That would be pretty sweet, if that were the case. Pretty sweet indeed. Maybe we could do the crypt and then call it there for the episode. It's totally worth it to find the crypts and the tombs and all the little extra stuff in this game because you get so many awesome upgrades from doing it. If you're behind the times like me and haven't played this game through yet, and you decide you want to, I definitely recommend doing the optional stuff. It's totally worth it. You don't just get XP for it. Alright, so we're back in the Lost City. Let's... That's not what I wanted to do. Set this. So we need to get over to the Crypt Entrance now. We'll run across. We'll get in there. We'll get the extra cool stuff. Hopefully not get impeded too heavily by deathless ones on our way over. 
Ooh. Oh, it's like a little puddle of oil. Cool. We're all full up on wallets. I think we'll be okay. At least I'm hoping. Ow. I was too close. Oh shit. I, I messed up. I have, mis I have made a mistake. I have made a mistake. Did I alert everyone? No? Wow. Okay. Cool. There's a dead guy by that fountain. Dead lady. Poor lady. That sucks. However, it is kind of neat how the cold has preserved their bodies. For all of eternity. Ouch. Crypt entrance is right over here. Mm. Feel like I should. Oh boy! I've An alerted them again. Carving of a pagan god, perhaps a fertility idol. Everything's gone horribly wrong. Thousands of years old. Oh boy. Don't mind me, guys. Guys, don't. I said don't mind me. You know, as in something that's you, that you shouldn't do. Um, I feel like you're not... I feel like you're not listening to me, guys. I feel like you're not listening to me. Just the thought. They're not listening to me, guys. Not at all. They're not even listening to me a little bit. Well, I made them listen. Simple as that. How do I get there? Is it underneath? Ah, maybe. Okay, we've got us a crypt. Brilliant. Get my Mongolian Valentinus, up? Or no? The timekeeper. No? Alright, let's open this up wall up then. Shazam and Kapow. What secrets dost thou hold, crypt? What secrets? A note. Katesh was home to artists, philosophers, and more. Who knows what it might have become had they not had the source and the immortal prophet. Of course, without those two things, the city never would have been built, so it doesn't really matter. Everything happens for a reason, people. This is a rather large... This is a rather large area. How do I get up there? Oh. Maybe I can, uh... Grapple-axe it. Maybe. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try and grapple-axe it. Brilliant! What have I been missing out on not using that? Is there even anything up here? Well, there's this. I could use this. Cool. Good enough for me. Alright, we're here. Inside the ancient 
tomb. Can I not look at that? Come on now. Okay, fine. Let's open it up. Finish the ancient bow, maybe. I think we only need one more. One more piece. Yeah? Hey, hey! And alright guys, I'm actually going to have to leave this episode here. At the beginning of next episode, we will be at the nearest base camp, and I will have the ancient bow. I'm going to travel out of here. We've run out of time, and there's just no point in me walking out and getting to a base camp in this video. I don't really think it would serve much of any purpose, so I'll end it here. And as usual, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, then make sure you hit that like button down below. If you really enjoyed it, make sure to hit that subscribe button also down below for more content from this guy right here. And feel free to leave me a comment letting me know what you thought, what you liked, what you didn't like, and any suggestions for games that you would like to see me play in the future, especially games to replace this. One or more than one game to replace this game. And last, but certainly not least, if this video just blew your mind, then most definitely be sure to share this video with your friends, your family, your loved ones, random people you meet on the street, or the internet, whatever floats your boat. And I will see all of you in the next one. See you later.